Hi. Hi. I'm Dr. Cameron. How are you feeling? Yeah. Little cough, no big deal. Okay. And what you doing here? I just got a job at the university. They need a health clearance. But apparently, I'm a little anemic, so they made me get some more tests. Any family history of anemia? Not that I know of. My mom died of cancer when I was a kid. My dad's heart gave out a couple of years ago. Brothers and sisters? I'm afraid it's a short family history. <laughs> That's it. I had a husband once, but oh, it didn't stick. My test should be back, probably in that file. Probably. Yeah. Is everything okay? Did you redo the x-ray? Twice. Well, you don't need a consult. You know the diagnosis. All she has is a cough. Somebody left this on my chair. It's clever, because it forces me to either deal with the file or never sit down again. Cindy Kramer, I told her you'd see her. You shouldn't have told her that. She's got metastatic squamous cell lung cancer, six months tops. Have you even looked at the x-ray? No, just guessing. It's a new game. If I'm wrong, she wins the stuff there. A spot on an x-ray doesn't necessarily mean that she's terminal. I love children. So filled with hope. It could be pneumonia. It could be sarcoidosis. Could be. If she didn't already have swollen hilar lymph nodes on the other lung. Can we at least brainstorm for other ideas? Thank you. I still think pneumonia and sarcoidosis. But we should check for tuberculosis and definitely rule out congestive heart failure. Five stages of dying. Exactly. Personally, I think it's all just new age crap. But from your tear-filled puppy dog eyes, I think I made my point. Now go tell Cindy, whatever her name is, that she's dying. Tacky. All the tests have been inconclusive? Diagnostics is more of an art than a science. Should I be worried right now? I work for one of the top diagnosticians in the country. We're pouring all of our energy into figuring this out. Oh, no. Now you've left your entire body in my chair. What does that mean you want? I need a segmental bronchoalveolar lavage. I take it the CT with contrast came back? They're not definitive. Biopsy would be. Biopsy would be invasive and unnecessary. And definitive. But you don't want definitive. You want to hang on to your delusions as long as you can. A lavage could prove it's not cancer. But you need me to approve the procedure. It must be a bitch. The answer is no. Why? Because it's me? I'm over you. I've jumped on the bandwagon. I hate you, OK? Great. Let's treat her. What is it? You won't help, Cindy, but you're obsessed with this piece of dirt. Are you just trying to prove that who someone is doesn't matter? That all that matters is your stupid puzzle? Fine. Treat them the same. That's all I'm asking. One test. Wow. That is remarkable. According to those patchouli oil selling New Agers, it's supposed to be the terminal patient, but you're going through the five stages. You just made a completely seamless transition from anger to bargaining. Cover two more of my clinic hours, and you can have your one procedure. There's no sign of infection. You're gonna have to do the biopsy. Dr. Cameron, could I borrow you for a consult? 
bittersweet thing about being head of the oncology department. I get CC'd in all the biopsy results. Yeah, I know. She's terminal. Yeah. So I take it you were in there informing her? Well, I, I hadn't exactly gotten around to that, but I was just... Doing what? Making friends? Cindy's divorced. She doesn't have any kids, no siblings. Both her parents are It's gone. not your job to be her friend. Do you understand? And it's not worth it. She feels better her final few days, and you're not the same. Maybe for years. You don't think it's worth it? I know it's not worth it. My husband... I met him just after he was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. If I hadn't married him, he was alone. When a good person dies, there should be an impact on the world. Somebody should notice. Somebody should be upset. Just strong but you needed proof you saw her bathing on the roof her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you and she tied you to her kitchen chair and she broke your throne and she cut your hair and from your lips you drew the heart 